I'm going to give my review of the fringe sport Midas bar. It's so uh, the reason this one kind of popped up, <laughs> the, the reason this one kind of popped up was I have a rep open trap bar and I have this fringe sport Midas bar and I've been doing trap bar, uh, trap bar quite a bit more recently. And I find myself grabbing this one over over the rep open trap bar just about every time um primarily because it's just easier to operate and sometimes when you're working in a in a home gym it's like whatever's easy to easier to grab and set up let me run through my thoughts on this bar i don't think it's for everybody but it's a pretty solid option so number one uh if you're looking at the screen you can see that um, you can see kind of the main specs, but in general, it's very compact and, and durable. So kind of the, the highlight of this bar, the, what makes it stand out are the gold titanium sleeves that also rotate. So the rotation is important um, for a fluid movement. Also has a high and low handle option, not log <laughs> handle option. Um, so that it, you can change depth of the lift. It has a 700 pound weight capacity that may be limited. Um, we'll discuss that in a bit, but in general, it's a very strong and durable bar. It includes a lifetime warranty. And then it's also, um, it's kind of above those very, very cheap options, but at $299, I think it's a really good value. Um, so I'll run through some of the specs here now. If you, again, if you're looking at the screen, um, the total bar length is 60 inches. Um, so it's quite a bit more compact than something like the rep open trap bar, which is 84 inches in total length. So, um, like a quarter smaller than the rep open trap bar. Um, the loadable sleeve lengths are only 10 inches off the top of my head. I think if you. If you're, if you're using bumper plates, you can probably get 405 on there. And if you're using, um, 45 pound plates, depending on, unless you're using like the weighted out plates, you can probably get a little over 500 pounds. Uh, so that, that, that it does max out. So it does include a bar jack. So it's very easy to load. Um, and also on the screen, you'll say weight capacity limited. You can kind of see on the screen that I have some, uh, thicker bumper plates, um, where only about 300 pounds is loaded and it's, it's pretty full. You can probably get another small plate on there, but, but that's, that's it. So, um, yeah, in general, easy to load the, I would say it does, it does seem like there's a little bit of tendency to flip. Maybe if you start with a 55 pound weight, um, but in general, it's, it's, it's still pretty easy to, to load. Uh, it's also kind of compact. So there's, there's some good things about this compactness and then some things that you just might need to be, um, weary of, uh, specifically if you're a larger human being. Um, so it's compact, so it's very easy to kind of store, move around the gym. It's, uh, it's not rackable, so you can't, you can't rack it. Um, and then it's, it's a little tight. I would say you can see on the screen, um, me doing lunges, for example, and the, at the very end, I wouldn't say this is a deal breaker for lunges. Like I said, I still find myself grabbing this and I'd still rather do lunges with this smaller, more compact open deadlift bar, but it does, it does touch the back of my leg when I do lunges, like a slight tap. Um, which you can see in the photo. Um, but in general, like, like, like the, a reason many choose an open trap bar over a traditional trap bar in general is it's very versatile. So, um, you can do farmer's handle, carry suitcase, carries shrugs, lunges, bent over rows, et cetera. Um, very versatile bar. It includes a medium neural, um, which which I do prefer for an open trap bar and just versatile option where you want to do a number of different lifts. Um, a 25 millimeter, um, um, 
diameter, uh, which is easy to grab. Um, some may pref prefer um, something a little thicker, um, but this does the job for me. Uh, the matte black finish seems pretty solid. It's it's definitely one of the more solid um, um, matte black finishes as opposed to some of the like cheaper ones that you might get from Walmart and it's already rubbing off by the time you get it. Um, in general, I mean, sure, this will take some beating over the over the years and it'll chip and stuff, but um, very solidly constructed. Something that, uh, like the Rep Open Trap Bar or like the Lyco um, Open Trap Bars, they're well known for being very balanced. So um, when you are, when you set it, it doesn't move or it doesn't tip all the way to the ground like you see in the photos. Um, so this, I I think um, mo very little of the Open Trap Bars actually stay balanced. And I think there's like a patent against it, which is one reason why I don't think a lot of the companies do it. Um, but just something to note that this isn't balanced. Uh, so you will need to like tilt it um, back up in order, in order to lift. And lastly, so who is it for? So if you want a budget open trap bar, but you don't want to really take any chances. So if you see the, the options from Walmart or, or Amazon that looks somewhat similar, um, those aren't as good. They're, they're janky and they are most likely not going to last as long. They're going to have quite a bit lower weight capacity. Um, so this is, this isn't, uh, just something for somebody that wants a solid option. They're willing to pay a little bit more, uh, to take the chances out with that. It's, it's very durable. It's going to last forever. I would say you have to have a max deadlift around four or 500 pounds. So if, if you're like, you know, if you're, if you're consistently deadlifting over that amount, there's no reason for you to get this bar unless you really want to use it just for lightweight and having something easy to like wield around. Um, another, another open trap bar that's kind of in this, um, price range is the giant open trap bar. And then also the, the rep open trap bar is also like a hundred dollars more. I want to say, um, those are a little bit, they're a little bit wider. They're a little bit more difficult to kind of wield around the gym, uh, a little more time to like set up. Um, so I would say this is somebody that just wants something that's easy to use store and just easily whip around the gym. You don't have to worry about like hitting stuff as much as maybe like carrying around the, the, the rep or giant open trap bars, or if you have multiple people using, so maybe you have maybe, a a kid or a woman, um, is, is wanting to take advantage of the open trap bar as well. This, I think this would probably be a better option for them as well. And then lastly, I would say, if you love the gold look, that may help put it over the edge. Cause it is a, it is a pretty good looking bar. Um, Adam, I'd, I'd be curious to hear just like, because you have the giant open trap bar, how does that compare how, just like, I know you haven't used this one, but how would you say my review of this compares to your use of the giant open trap bar? And like, would you say one is better for you than the other? Yeah. Um, well, with you said, it, it does look a lot easier to, to pull out and, and to put to use. Um, giant isn't too difficult to, to take out and stuff like that. But like if I, my wife sometimes has me like write a workouts, so if I were to write a workout using the trap bar, she wouldn't even take it off the wall. So something like this, you could easily like pull out and put to use, I would say. Um, so it does have that advantage going for it. I'd be curious to like push it back at you real quick. Um, the the um, kickstand, the, um, the deadlift jack on this, would you say like it's, does it seem sturdy when it's up and you're loading it? You said tip one side to the other, but I'm thinking like back and forth action. So, it, so that first plate, if you put a heavier plate on, it has a tendency to tilt back like completely yeah. straight. And I'll say not um, like the, over. Yeah. The giant's guilty of that as well. I'll put a 45 on okay. it and, and it'll tip like that, but not over. You said, 
Because it looks like a not very wide deadlift jack. No, it's 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 sturdy. Yeah. Nice. I have no concerns of it. Cool. Other than that, like initial tip, it's like, oh, that was. Which yeah. it, my like rep my rep one does not do that. Right. Yeah. Um, so well, yeah, the rep one, and then um, the giant one as well. The thick tubing that it uses. This one using the the skinnier tubing. Would would you say like it's gonna hold up? Like it looks like a lot like leaning on those welds it has, but it's st- it feels like sturdy when you're clanging and banging in the in the garage there. Very sturdy. Yeah, it's it's rock solid. Yeah, I mean, really the it really is like compact but rock solid and very durable. Cool. So, so I definitely think there's a a market for it. Definitely. Um, yeah. If I had to, if I had to like get rid of the rep one or the fringe one, I don't know. It it would be a very tough decision. Uh, like I said, I find myself using the fringe one more, but the rep one is definitely more versatile. Right. But it's also more expensive. And then I have the rotating sleeves on right now, which make it like even heavier. Like, like. 90 pounds i think yeah <laughs> don't quote me but it's it's like 80 90 pounds i think with those oh, handles geez. so it's like uh it's like i'll just grab this one real quick and and do my my deadlifts when you're mid-workout so. and you, you make that decision like i'm gonna i'm gonna use this real quick yeah i'm grabbing the thing that that's easy to to get set up and to to get right into it for sure 